Why, hello there, and welcome to a new Let's Play of a mod that I like to call, and what most people like to call since it's actually the title, Research and Development. Now, we're going to start this. It's a little short thing I'm kind of doing. I, you know, I still got all the, the Let's Plays to upload of Infernal Sky that no one's going to watch, but I, while I was uploading that, I kind of wanted to get something to get me into the, the Let's Play action, the, the feel, the the exhilaration, the sexual tension. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be playing the greatest mod of all time. It's called Research of Development. It's a puzzle mod for Half Life 2. If you never played it, you should probably play it instead of watching mine. Uh, my microphone's gonna dangle around next to my ear. My mic is, microphone is in pretty poor shape. But hopefully that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And we're gonna watch, watch some. Some quick cutscenes here. That guy's on fire. That guy's dead. And oh, that that guy is dead too. And okay, black screen. Okay, and we're live. Here we are in the pile of rubble that it randomly starts you in. I don't understand this mod, but it's the greatest mod ever. So, uh. So we're in a prison. I, I, I kind of ran immediately here because I started it two seconds ago. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to let's play this. Specimen 0035. Ginger. Radiation treatment has yielded two notable side effects. Decreased body weight, fire retardant car 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 carapace. Uh, I'm sorry. My language today. Carapace. Car cara. Alright, um, this gate locks automatically on cell opening. I don't know why I was carrying that. Well, I do know why I was carrying around. I can ca vaguely remember that this is a part of a puzzle. Positive specimen number 46. Brenda. Positive response to human habitation. Hab habituation. Pheromone pod exposure. Radiation treatment has developed its carpus that is impervious to small arms fire untested with energy weapons oh this one's alive neat um anything else around here empty cells already got that thing so i can't really do much let's see cell opening is there any way to close the cells no oh oh Oh, oh, okay. Wait. I'm vaguely remembering that if I do this... No, it doesn't actually do anything. I just... I remember that this... I've played through this once. I mean, it was a while back. But I vaguely remember that this body had something to do with the first puzzle. Wait, is that a lever? No. Um... So yeah, this is pretty derp. Weapon free zone. What's this say again? Decreased body weight, fire retardant darkness. Okay. So both of them are invincible. Oh! Okay. That works. I'm gonna carry him in here. He's my buddy. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm good. That's... It's not like I needed that or anything. What if I pull really hard? Okay. Can I take it? Can I take this one out? No. Alright, let's look around the rest of the room. Uh, I've got some... Overused computer file pictures from Half-Life. Got this thing. Um, oh! Ha! This is just what I needed. Plug that in. And unite the cords! Oh, okay. I figured it would, like, hook together or something, but I guess not. Research and development. Level 1. Welcome to nerds. Do not feed the animals, thank you. Alright. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Oh my. 
That is a scary noise. Ooh, a computer. Whoa. Hey! What's up? How you doing? Oh, uh, okay. Good to see you, too. You, wow, I cannot read that. You can't... Ooh, look, Steam. Firefox. I leave school, Chrome. Can't believe you made it. Your quick thinking and releasing specimens gave me most of the time to escape. I'm on the silo outside right above you, trying to repair the burst transmitter and get out the data, our data out, but it's still in... in... in shape. You should go to the south antenna if you can relate yourself. Head for the labs full of waste transfer facility. Seems to be less activity in that area. If any action specimen you left, use them as diversion. Gotta go. Search for choppers are everywhere. It's been an honor working with you, Doc. Resistance and freedom. Neat. Alright, I'm gonna just open this up. Ooh, button. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Alright, so that gate's open. Uh-oh. Unleash the ant lion. I don't really want to go down there. Yeah. I don't want to. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. Alright. Specimen handlers must carry pheromone pawns. The holding pin all time. So, this is from Half-Life two it's little things that you use to lure the ant lions and i remember this puzzle fairly well basically you just gotta be like yo boom down there go and then gotta avoid the electricity things it's fairly simple but i think the problem is is it doesn't actually have routing capabilities like if you oh or or it does that okay no, well, no, I didn't mean that. There we go. Go. Yeah, it doesn't have the best routing. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna... There. There we go. So, yeah, this could get annoying. Fast. Hopefully, we're at the end here. No, they're gonna make us go all the way back. Really? Really? No, no, really? Like, are you just... Really? Okay. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, I guess I have to think of a striking conversation to make this interesting. Uh, other than just me throwing, uh, hormone balls at crap. Um... Can I go down here? I'm gonna go down here. Uh, oh, get out of my way. That was free. Boop, beep, boop, boop. Go out. Go. Unleash the hounds. Oh. Oh, okay. You're gonna... Okay. At least he's resistant to pulling... Oh. Oh, why would you do that? I, I'd rather not be involved in this situation. Really, I don't have any weapons, and I don't think hormone balls are gonna help. Oh, nope, they're shooting at me. Okay, okay. Oh, one more, oh. What was your name? Melinda? Yeah, well, your new name's Dennis. I, I just... Yeah, okay, that's fine. You just take your time. So, we got this... Wire. I'm gonna unplug this. Can I unplug this? Let me unplug this. Unplug. I right, just climb up here. That also works. Thank you for. Oh. Can I press it again. Can I... Can I like? No. Making grunting noises does not help my case any. Uh huh. So somehow I gotta get that thing to drop on this other thing. Oh, oh my! 
Oh my, I like the looks of this. Get my that doors. What are you gonna do with them? Oh, okay, thank you. Alright. Just set these down here. I mean, I probably only need one, but if you have this many, might as well go out in a bank. Alright, just set those there. Go up here and bombs away. Son of a gun. Oh, well now I gotta climb all the way up and freaking flagging, flaggles, flagging. Ugh. It's exhausting work. Carrying things, picking up, pressing the E button. There we go. That should work. Now, lever, think. Like I said, here we go. Alright. We are good to go. Just venture off. And antenna. Oh, oh my. Oh, yo. Hey, over here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, you're my only form of defense, so I'd like to keep you nearby at all times. That guy looks awesome. I'm proud to say that this my main character is probably his friend. Oh. Oh. No. Don't die. If you die. No. You heartless bastards. I thought this was supposed to be a light-hearted romantic comedy starring Jay Leno and and dangled M. Night Shyamalan directed. I was trying to think of pop culture, guys. I'm sorry. I was trying to be dramatic. I that just failed miserably. All right. So what we got here? So we got a, uh, a oh my bad. I'm gonna just take this. Oh crap the deck I'm assuming I gotta fix this I do remember this because the first time I did this I just sat here and fought the guys and like nothing happened I was, I was pretty mad all right all right you can go over there and fight those guys I'm gonna take this elevator oh crap no I need you here there are people here oh Whew. That was a lot easier the second time. And not because I knew what I was doing. Well, mainly because I knew what I was doing. But, like... As you can see, for a game that doesn't have any gimmicks, like, uh... Like, Portal 2 and crap. Or, Portals, you know, and then other puzzle games, like Braid, you have to rewind time and stuff. This game really has no gimmicks, and yet all of the puzzles seem unusually clever. Apparently, he managed to come. Or Dennis or Melinda, I don't really know. Decided to come from. Oh! Oh, what is that? What? No! Dennis! Man, they're just. This game is dark. Killing everybody I care about already. Crane overhead. See. I think the problem with this let's play is I vaguely remember everything. But even, even, ow, 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 crap, I'm dead. Well, I didn't remember that, apparently. But even, even with this thing, well, all right, that's the sign I was looking for. It's just like, snap, break, crap. I want to break, crap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just inch this over here. Did you hear that little creaking? Stuff's about to go down. You know it. Oh, hear that? And what's great about these puzzles is even for how uh, complicated they might get, they still manage to keep... Like, you can guess for a while, but you never get completely stumped. All of them have subtle hints, 
and follow regular logic except the final area uh, which is a little iffy uh, not in like puzzle wise it just it's probably the the worst which we'll get to later it's probably the worst of the uh, areas oh loading screen but it's probably the worst of the areas uh, because they do throw in this odd gimmick at the end and it's it's not a good gimmick in the slightest ever but you know I, I still love this game a lot despite the last level and I know I've been talking about the last level too much for something it's only four levels long in case you notice like if you go up here to new game you see you only get oh six levels so yeah never mind um Yeah. Ooh, I don't remember this. I, I, there's a lot of fuzzy spots somewhere in the middle of this map. That is a lot of, oh my. Hey, what, what'd that do? Okay, I'm gonna just keep that open for now. Seems like a plan. Alright, conveyor belt's rolling. This conveyor belt's rolling. Alright, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, crap. That may have injected large amounts of poison gas. I may have... Should have paid attention to this one. Hmm. Alright. So, let's see. Caution, dangerous test subject. Extreme aggression reaction to both humans and other necrotics. Necrotics. I don't know. Um, I'm assuming zombies. Pacifying atmospheric is a deadly neurotoxin. Do not damage containment cube. I just got a Skype message. Yeah, whatever. Um, I want to at least finish the first level before I go chill with my friends and whatnot. On the bright side, I did get, um, oh, oh my. Okay, so we're probably going to want to keep that down, because what I'm assuming is we do the whole transition thing. Yeah, what's up here? I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't think we want it breaking the thing. Huh. Oh! Okay. So there's no specific button. It's like a timing based thing. Shoot. 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 Okay. Well, at least we've grasped that concept. But yeah, on the bright side, I can now upload videos up to past 15 minutes, so I can just easily just rip this all into like a six-part video and not give a damn about any, any what anybody thinks. You know what I'm saying, dang old? Yeah. Um. Just gonna. Oh no! Oh gosh! Please stop. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I'm surprised that that steam can shatter it. And yet, he's slamming full on into that freaking wall. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Alright, so, I don't know what this hook does. So, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just kind of wing it here. Okay. So, I think what we need to do is we need to turn on this hook. And have it, like, push... Oh, crap. I initiate... Oh, okay. Okay. Please give me a checkpoint so I don't have to timing base. Oh, you are the best game. Just, I love you so much. Did I ever tell you that? Alright. I'm gonna go over here. And stop this conveyor belt because we have to do more timing based fun times. Like, see how kind of clever... Like... 
even the only thing that explained this puzzle was that little note and even even with that it wouldn't have been necessary like it seemed more of like a side tidbit than more of like a puzzle explainer also explains why the zombie attacks people. I guess it's more of an expl explanation of the puzzle than something that actually helps you solve it. Okay, I want this one to go. Oh, it's better safe than sorry. Like that! That was a risk taker. Alright, watch it go. Oh, I gotta shut the door. I gotta shut the door. I don't want that crap inside me. My, my building. Oh, snap. Oh, crap. Stuff just hit the fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. How is he still alive? Yeah, okay. Okay. That's... Okay. I'm just open that up. I guess we can go through here now. You know what I could have done? I could have just been like, Yo, zombies! I just... Oh, wait. But then all of them would have appeared. Huh. Huh. I don't even think this mod really had any setup or anything. Like, my. F when I discovered this mod. Oh. I, I, I want to avoid that. I. I hmm. I'll just, I'll just use some boards. It's fine. What? Radiation? Two inches away from me? Nah. Nah, bro. It's good. It's good. We cool. We cool. Oh, oh, piss. Oh, oh, gosh. Props. Oh, we're fine. Aha. Oh, dude. I remember this puzzle. This is the greatest puzzle to ever be. Like, this is one of the greatest moments in the game. Right here. This, these two rooms, greatest puzzle. So, like... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna build it up. I'm not gonna explain it. So what do we got? We got um, zero point energy cell must be restored in the radiation shielding device. I can't really click that. I don't know why there's a mouse on my screen. Oh, okay. So we got ourselves a code or some crap, huh? Okay. We'll figure that out later, I guess. Oh, and there's a thing there. Okay, so what's over here? Will staff kindly refrain from using laboratory microphone to reheat who this finely calibrated piece of science apparatus? I don't want any broken burritos in here. All right. Um, does that say anything of importance? Can I read it? Conservation of momentum. That's all it says. I'm gonna put this in the microwave too. I'm gonna put this and and, and this. Oh, really? Not gonna fit? No, that's fine. That's cool. Hey, tip over for me. Tip over for me. Thank you. Now will you fit? Alright, thank you. I should put that in there. Okay, okay. Now, focus. Anything that gives away the numbers to this code. Um. That I I don't think that the those scribbles do. Let me just Wow, that was easy I did not think that was going to work. Oh, oh, okay. So we're just gonna green, red okay, so green, red, yellow, blue. Green, red, yellow, blue. So green goes to nine. Two, nine two six nine two six nine two six four. So nine two six four. Oh, I have to press E. Nine two six four. What? All right, let's try it. Wait. Ah, tricky devils. So, red, green, yellow, blue. Red, green, yellow, blue. So, four, and then red, green, 
four nine four nine six four nine six two four nine six two Oh, 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 this is a reuse of the model, fun fact, that you, that creates the, uh, Magnuson devices, which you use to destroy Striders in Episode 2. So, if you're gonna download this map, you're gonna wanna have Half-Life 2, Episode 2, and if you don't have that, then you should probably have Half-Life 1, Half-Life 1, Episode 2, 1, or Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and then Half-Life to episode two sorry so many numbers because those are good games too so yeah all right so as you can see reheat microwave crazy radioactive cube i'm gonna just put that in here and watch the greatest thing that ever was can i shut can i shut this door oh tit And that's why it's one of the greatest mods, or greatest puzzles ever. To be fair, it kind of used a bit too much of the... Oh, look, another microwave. I don't know why that would be necessary. Oh, what's that banging? Oh, oh, snap. Shut the door. Run, run, run! That's right, it just got cooler. Alright, one second. And we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Well, I don't think you really care, because you weren't the one that had to go do things. You just waited two seconds for the next scene. But yeah, coolest scene ever. And while I think it's a really well-scripted event, and it's really cool, to be fair, though, the puzzles that led up to it were a little, you know, cliche, I guess. Like, following the wires and crap. Just get that out of the way. But, um, even so, it's still, like, when I was talking to my friend, the f friend that showed me the mod, he's, he's into mods and stuff, he's a cool dude. But, uh... We agreed that that was one of the cool scenes. And zombies. I got a plan. Huh. Could I, like, sneak up on him? Be all like, hey, don't mind me. Just looking around. And Oop. Oh, I know. Get the thing back here. Uh, or, or, or not. Just... Oh, okay. okay. That's, okay. I'm gonna set this back down here. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Oh, oh. No going back now. Um... Well, apparently that worked. And like, nope, on forever. So, let's do one of the best game, uh, game mixer uppers. What, what would you call that? Breaking the pace things from, uh, Half-Life 2. And maybe the original Half-Life, I don't remember it much. But, it's called The Floor is Made of Lava. And that's one of the reasons why I really love the original half the original not the original half life but half life 2 in general was because a lot of the physics puzzles that break the pace because i know a lot of people complained about breaking the pace and i read a review of half life 1 surprisingly where they said that there was too much breaking the pace in the middle of half life that kind of dragged it on there's like a a big part in it where you just 
where your only job is solely to um, pilot this cart, like this rail cart, and you have to shoot people on it. But I love the way they break the pace. I love it when there's an area full of mines or a physics puzzle where you have to shove a washing machine to launch a ramp. It seems like a lot of the things that people do lately, like the, uh, oh, we can just go up here, but there's something over here I want to show you that I remember fondly. Uh, breaking the pace is, they were really fun and well made. Like, people complained about Duke Nukem Forever, the new one, uh, having really poor breaking the pace, like platforming elements and like RC, remote control RC cars and underwater segments. But these, these were awesome because not only did they relive childhood moments in which you were stacking pillows on top of the carpet because you weren't allowed to touch anything, but they were just fun. I mean, maybe people didn't like them, but I enjoyed them every time. So going in here, you know, we got a health pack, and a box, and then the gnome. Well, and this gnome. And yeah, um, it had less shock factor this time, but that thing freaked the pants out of me the first time. It was just like out of nowhere, and there was a health pack, which is weird because this game doesn't have a health system. But yeah, <laughs> this game, this is really well made. I mean, don't expect any original textures or anything like you would see in other mods, but this mod is just freaking. It's the best mod. It's by far my favorite mod. Up there with no more room in hell if you've seen some of my gameplays of that. Okay. Oh, 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 hmm. I'm gonna just put this in. Well, now I can't use that in this puzzle, so. Really? Um, really? Just really? Okay, no, I'm fine. It's fine. It's, it's, well, shoot burgers. What the piss is wrong with you, game? Why wouldn't you do that earlier? I'm so mad at you after I talk about how much I love this game and then I get stumped because, oh, oh my. Uh, crap. Uh, I got this. Hoopa. Okay, no. Um. Well, I am getting a Skype call, so give me two seconds to silence. Okay, so hopefully I don't... I'm probably going to get a Skype call, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get another Skype call in the near future. But I want to get through this first level. I don't remember how long it, the first level is, but... I mean, it shouldn't be too long. We've done quite a few puzzles. Puzzles! So, what what you doing, Buttons? You, you going to come down and help me? Or am I just going to have to, like... Oh, there's a freaking ladder. Son of a skank. Yeah, but my eye sink. In it? No, you. Okay. You just. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, or you're gonna stay up there. No, you're not? Okay. Oh, no! S stop it! You almost. I just figured it out. Alright, get around here. Wow, this is kind of annoying. But shut up. I love this mod. I'm not supposed to complain about it. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, hey, you. You with the face, you're fat. You know what? You're fat. You're, you're fat. It's 
son of a bitch. Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was... I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. You just gonna stick down there? That's fine. Hey. Hey, why are you going up? Why, why, why are you staying up? Yeah, I'll step off real quick. Nope. S stop getting underneath it. Alright, I got this. I got this. It's fine. Okay. We climb up the ladder. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go, go, okay. Oof. Oof, that was overly difficult. I sense explosions. I'm not gonna lie. It seems awful fishy. So clearly what we're gonna wanna do is go up here and seem safe. Oh. Well, alrighty then. Looks like we have a mystery on our hands, gang. So, let's see. Can I grab one of these? No, can I not? Okay. So, what exactly am I supposed to use? Oh, chair. Oh. Oh, lovely. I get to use the zombie again, of course. Yo, zombie, where are you? Get over here. Yeah, that's right, you. You're fat. You're ugly. You're stupid. Get out. Get, get out. Hurry up. You're slow. My icing. I don't care about your dang old icing. I need you over here, pronto. Alright? Alright? Thank you. Alright, now I'm up here. Not quite sure what this does. Oh, shoot! Oh, crap explosions. This, this, oh. Mm. Okay, well that was fun. Can I get up here now? No? Am I gonna have to... Aw, oh, yeah, stacking puzzles. I love me some stacking puzzles. And... <sighs> And Alright. Alright, you're gonna you're gonna crash for me? Thanks, game. Love you, game. You're the best. Oh shoot. <gasps> More color coded numbers. It's a good thing. I totally remember what um Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh I got a shovel. I know what to do with shovels. This, this can't be... Oh, this is definitely a pasted on texture. Okay. So, what we got over here is... Oh, okay. So, we're going to want to make a staircase right here. Oh, um... Yeah, okay. That's fine. You know what? We're all good here. And Okay. Just can't fall can't fall. Oh, oh gosh. You think actual shift walking would help? Okay. So who who the crap put this up here? You, I just I don't understand you. Okay. What what's it say down there? Can you can I can I, Okay, I'm going to walk over here. All right. Let's see. Red, green, yellow, blue. So red, two, green, five, two, five, yellow, four, two, five, four, blue, two, five, four, nine, two, five, four, nine, what? Okay. Ooh. This looks awful like, an awful like, uh, Dr. Kleinman's lab. I mean, a bit. Um. Ooh. Ooh. That's some weird textures. Alright. Let's just take this down here. Is there, like, a place I can plug this in? This seems awful important. Oh. Okay. Oh, so it's like a find the, the cube hunt all up in here go 
Mm, gotta love them sexy textures. It's all like someone just took an object and then reskinned it in Gary's Mod Tools, if you know what I mean. Oh, look, and there's just one on the floor. So you gotta appreciate the subtlety. You got you got one already in there, so you can see how to do it, and then you have one right next to it, so you can see one close, see one like it close by, and then the rest of them are all hidden. I mean, it's a little clever. I'm just saying. All right, so I need the gravity gun. I think that's where this is going. Let's press this. Ooh, my. I think I did a puzzle early. All right. All right, let's, what's this button? Ah, gravity puzzles. No. Okay, I gotta get up close, I guess. So basically, blue goes, pulls up, and yellow pulls, orange pulls down. It's kind of like portal colors, you could say. Let's, let's let's test this out. See if my calculations are correct. Stay doing the whole thing. Oh, oh, okay. So, I guess it's clockwise, counterclockwise. I guess. So which one was that? It was this one. Let's test out now. Wow, jeez, what a rejection. It was like, oh, you're doing so well. That was kind of neat. It was just like, and then stuff fell. All right. Moment of truth, people. Whoop, 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 whoop. Aw, yeah. That was excellent on everyone's part. Oh, look, valve puzzles. <laughs> valve. <laughs> All right, let's see what this one does. Okay, so it bounces. And this is really hard to see through the textures. I mean, this is ridiculous. Alright, I got it. That was easy. Oh, got a free Skype call. Oh, wait, I forgot to actually turn off the recording to answer the Skype call. Well, this is lovely, I tell you. Well... I'm back again, and that Skype call crashed research and development, so I had to do this puzzle and that puzzle again. But, you know, thus is life. Also, it accidentally crashed Skype, so we won't be getting any more Skype calls. So, professional gameplay, everyone, I tell you what. Ooh, that's neat. Oh, oh. That, that, is that Schrodinger's cat up there or some crap? Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's re redirect this. Okay, so the rainbow has to be in a certain order. Uh, if only I remembered the Lucky Charms rainbow colors. Well, all rainbows actually, I just... Luckily there's a distinct pattern in the freaking colors in the spectrum. Ooh, look at that harmonious. You, you gonna fall in there? It, no? Oh, okay. You you don't... I don't want to be in there. You don't know what it's like. Well, isn't that pretty? Oh, look, it's charging the cube. Pretty cube. Oh. Oh, it's charging up the gravity gun. What's this say? Filtering dispense zero status charged. Yeah! Gravity gun. Heck yeah. So now, with the gravity gun, all the puzzles are going to be like 50 times more dynamic. Like here, where I'm just, no. Um, uh, oh, there's a weight, you see? And then it's all like, so I got to get really heavy things, like this crap. And then you should be like, yo, heavy thing, get in here. All right, am I right? Okay. And then get this heavy thing. That and get that chair. Cause I don't like chairs. Yo, guys, everyone, get in. We're gonna have a party. Cinder blocks? No. Rolly chair? Yes, rolly chair with piss stain on it. 
I mean, that's what I can only hope it is. Either that or someone spilled their... It's probably someone spilled their coffee. I'm not going to be overly inappropriate on this one. Someone just spilled their coffee. And you know what? I feel bad for those people. Oh, wow. That did the trick. Long pole thing did the trick. So what did that do for us? I bet you're asking. And you know what? I'm asking the exact same... Oh, of course. So you got to take this really long pole out. Yo, pole. Yo. Yo, yo, pole. So do I gonna get you down. Oh, right. That's a song. Give, come here, monitor. Can I? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I? Who? Well, I was close. I guess it's safe to say that. Um. All right. So I guess that means... Oh, I'm stupid. I'm a stupid son of a gun. There's a freaking little plat opening here. So I can do it myself. Oh my gosh. Look, I can just platform just like that. And just like that. Get out of my way. I don't need your crap. Fall! Loading screen. You know, I called that. It seemed an awful lot like a loading screen would be coming soon. And you know what? It seems to me like this is, uh, now that you got the gravity gun, got all the puzzles down that you can use without the gravity gun, and all the dynamics have changed, it seems like this would be the opening for a new level. So let's find out. Um, no. Wait, what the crap? Wait, we just did that. Wait. So, it is a three-chaptered thing. Where's, where's my third chapter menu? I want to quit. No offense to you guys, you guys are great. But I just... I have very limited time here. Oh, see, this is clever. See how this is like a pipe puzzle? How you got pipe problems. And you gotta... You gotta put this somewhere. Oh, like... Get out of there, son. Fix you up real good. Or... Oh, wait. No. Get out of here. And then this one, you gotta go way back, oh, or not. Maybe you just have to press the lever that's right in front of you, me. Okay, sounds like a plan, or it could just turn on more steam, apparently. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, just here, you know what? I'm gonna just load, load this, load this right in here, yeah. And moment of truth, people. Oh, okay. Clever. Clever. Okay, you just, really, I did all those freaking puzzles. Level two, acid test. So... Now that we've got a good look at what's to come, with some useful hints of some simple puzzles that may be extended in the future, hint, hint, wink, wong, we're going to end it here. This has been incredibly long part one of Let's Play Research and Development. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself, because I know I did, because this mod's freaking awesome, and I like talking to you guys. So, I'll see you guys next time.